Welcome back. There is a third candidate for House District 74, and it's independent Robert Kaplan, who now joins us at the Trapezoid. Welcome uh, to the broadcast, sir. Uh, let, me, let me ask you first, why are you running as an independent? The reason being, sir, are, thank you for having me. I'm running as an independent because the, the Republican Party left me due to health care. I almost lost my health care twice under Obama and then under, under uh, and then the other, uh, the Republicans just keep kicking the can down the road when they cut, they're not going to cut down the premiums and the premiums are going to keep on going up. My premiums have gone up 87 percent. All right, let me ask you about some of the, the issues that you would have to deal with if you went to Tallahassee. Let's say education. Uh, there are two very different ideas of education from uh, uh, Mr. Gillum, uh, who is running as the Democrat. He wants to raise corporate taxes to pay, give teachers a $50,000 oh, pay raise. Hold on. And then there's Mr. DeSantis, who wants to uh, also uh, spend more in the classroom through efficiencies and uh, expanding the voucher program. Uh, either it's going to be a Republican or a Democrat there. So which, uh, which plan do you prefer? Well, I'll explain it to you. The 35%, 35, 35, 75, okay? 35, 55. He was going to raise the corporate tax from 35 to 55. Well, people don't understand. That's a 73% across the board on the left side of the matter, okay? Then you have Mr. DeSantis, okay? Not only on the 7% sales tax, all right? He's going to tag on 23%. So the, what the papers did, they divided 23 into 73 and came up with the magic number of 40 to 50%. Doesn't fly by me. It's still 73% to the left and 23% to the right. All right, so... Do you have your own education plan? My education plan for USF, since I'm a graduate, but now that S Governor Scott signed no free speech zones on the campuses, you, you know, I tried. Okay. Let's uh, get one more issue. We've been dealing uh, all across the Sun Coast in terms of red tide here. Um, you know, it's a natural occurring phenomenon. But there are different ideas in terms of what to do, more money for Moat Marine Lab, or uh, does the sugar industry, or um, you know, should we ban fertilizer? What's your idea here? The crux of the problem, I believe, is the dam. But I don't believe you should use Medicaid expansion as a pawn to fix the dam. Let me hold well, it. Well, what does Medicaid expansion have to do with red tide? I, I hear me out. I'll, 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 I'll tell you the story. Well, we only have a few seconds I'll left. Tell so. us, explain, I'll explain it real quick. The moral of the story is the reason why we're in this pickle is because of insurance premiums and municipalities, okay? And what they did is place mandates in between the insurance premiums and the municipalities, and they wanted government to control the whole thing. That's why we're in this pickle. They moved the waters before it died in the Senate, sir. Okay, we'll have to leave it there. Mr. Kaplan, thank you so much for joining us today. Okay. Stand by one second. Thank you uh, to Robert Kaplan for joining us tonight. And that's all the time we have for this evening. I'm Alan Cohn. Thanks for joining us. Have a good night. That's all.